we're going off scrunchies. But look what arrived, finally, oh my goodness. mistake that I've never made in nine and a half years. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Taylor and I here make scrunchies and bows. I've been doing so for nine years now. In today's video, I'm going to be getting ready for my May sale launch thing I did. I can never get that right. <laughs> I've been doing it for so many months now. At the start of every month, I've been releasing all these new products and yeah, new stuff in hopes that like people will buy and I've been doing like this new sticker and thank you card as well. This month I have decided to go with one that matches sort of this. I purchased this from a local business to me. They designed the fabric and got it printed. So yeah, that's sort of what I based it around. But the thing is I ordered the thank you cards a week and a half ago and they still haven't arrived. They still haven't even been shipped. Paid for it to be processed really fast and actually shipped really fast, which is usually two to four days I would usually receive it. And I think the estimated delivery was, even with shipping included, like to actually get it to me, the like date was last week sometime. So yeah, I'm a little worried about that, that they're not gonna arrive considering I need to ship these orders by Wednesday. Because I still have a one to five business day turnaround time. There isn't that many. I didn't have like a massive May launch, I guess. There wasn't that many designs. I'll put like what designs I had. Yeah, so I chose sort of like the same colour scheme. And this time I actually made a heap. I don't know if you can see them, but they're all along here. I actually made them. Amazing, right? Because the last couple of ones I haven't been making them. Still looking to get a bigger space, like buy a house and stuff. I don't really have the room to make a lot of stuff and like have it because I just don't have the room here. I also have a couple of custom orders I need to do, but that's later in the week and they're, yeah, they're super custom, so I won't film them. All right, I'm going to start with... <laughs> my scrunchie wall which is like got nothing in it okay so i've just had a look i have eight wait nine eight maybe eight eight orders to fulfill um because i think someone ordered the tuesday morning and i shipped that already because it wasn't part of like the sale thing it's not even a sale it's just like the release it wasn't part of the release i do have a heap of etsy orders though for some reason Yesterday, I received three in one day, and usually I only get like one every two days, three days. So I have five Etsy orders to do, so I need to do them as well. See if I've got any of this stuff in stock. I'm hoping the people that did order, ordered some of the new stuff, because I have, I have the new stuff in stock. But they probably didn't. I think when I was looking through, there wasn't a lot of the new stuff that was ordered. I don't know. I think everyone's feeling it. It's just really hard for small businesses right now. So that's why I did have a plan this year, and like, I'm not complaining at all, because like, I'm not. <laughs> and my plan this year was to get more into the YouTube side of things because at least then I don't have to worry about people actually ordering because I just get paid from YouTube and like sort of, yeah, survive on that. So I'm going to try and ramp that up, but it's just a little bit hard in this space because yeah, I really did want to try and have two videos a week going up. All right, let's see what we've got. Also, I keep being asked for room tours, but there's no point in doing a room tour here. It is the size of a shoebox and it's just messy. And there's just stuff everywhere all the time because there's just nowhere to put anything. It's driving me insane. I'm not doing a room tour. <laughs> Obviously, once I do get a house or yeah, move somewhere into a bigger space, you will get a new room tour for sure. Just not right now. I'm just doing the Etsy ones first. One that's actually in stock that's great so the turquoise petites i'm actually really loving petites at the moment i don't know if you haven't ordered a petite yet maybe give them a go because they're just small i don't know maybe i'm go am i going off scrunchies i don't know but like i'm really loving just like how i can have them on my wrist and stuff my other scrunchies because i don't wear the regulars anymore i don't wear that size anymore the only sizes i wear are the xls and these but the exercise obviously you can't really wear on your wrist because they're in the way because they're just so big. Vanessa, I actually think that maybe I have that. Oh, wait, I do. It's right here. This one's also a really nice one. It's linen or linen blend, linen cotton. Super cute. You know, I haven't done printed out all my packing slips. That's what I really like to do because 
then everything's all together. Ah, uh, and if you don't know yet, this video will be me like collecting everything, making anything that I don't have in stock, and then packaging them up. I have a mystery pack DIY. Those have been selling really well, the DIY kits. Now, I have two. I have a box down here with the brand new DIY kits that I ordered like ages ago and I've been talking about for literally a year now. I haven't made them up yet though because I'm missing some certain pieces and I just haven't had the time to sit down and create like with my brain like an English, it's almost like an English essay on how to make a scrunchie because as we all know my talking, my English isn't great. I don't know. I was never like I was good at English in school. I was never excellent though. And I feel like I've just gotten dumber since high school. I don't know if anyone feels that way. I 100% feel that like I excelled in high school and in primary school even, like I excelled. And then as soon as I left, I guess because I'm not doing it every day, I'm just getting worse. I guess with math, it's sort of the same too. Like I excelled, like I would always get such high scores in math, like almost 100% every time I do math, but yeah, since I left, I'm sort of like, yeah, second guess myself when it comes to math questions. Although, it does feel good when my little cousin asks me for math help and I'm able to figure out the question and like help her and help her try and understand it. Even though I haven't done like algebra in X amount of years. Haha, <laughs> see what I did there? Anyway, back onto finding things. Alright, oh! Do I? No, that's not it. I was gonna say I have Annabelle, but it's not the right one. I have a lot of stuff that's almost made, like this. And I actually have black in right now, so that's good. Black thread, that is, I'm pointing. You guys obviously don't know where I'm pointing at, but yeah. So I got a mini scrunchie. Yeah, uh, back to the DIY stuff. I've sold a lot of the packs, which are hand sewn ones. They're really good, even as a party favor or something. They're great. Okay, grey and dusty pink. I think I have both. Maybe not dusty pink. I would have dusty pink though in my market stuff. Oh my god, do I not have grey? Oh, yes I do. Grey. That's where I popped all the new stuff. It would easily fit over the other way, but I don't know. I just put it, put it over here. So I did burrito for these really chunk ones. Chunk ones? <laughs> these chunky knit stuff. Oops. Yeah, because it was just easier for me. And I think I did burrito for something else. Them ones. Maybe, yeah, because they're really chunky and when I go to sew them, because normally I sew like this and usually do the tube method. Okay, let me just like back up a bit. If you haven't watched my channel before, I do two types of scrunchies in this size. I do a thin band and a wide band. The thin band looks like, that is what the thin band looks like. It is about a centimeter big. It's actually 12 millimeters, but I just say centimeter. And I do the thin elastic in a burrito method. Because uh, they look different. I just do it that way now with the wide elastic, which is two centimeters I do them in the tube method because they are quicker for me and I just prefer the tube method for my wide elastic scrunchies But when it comes to super thick ones, yeah, like these I do tend to Do them in the burrito as well like velvet super thick chunky stuff Just makes it easier. This one also sold We've got a teal and clover, which is the new one. See, they're burrito. I can tell by like the line out the side there. So I can just sort of tell without even, yeah. It's just easier for me to choose. Here we go. So those ones sold. They also bought one of these in XL, but I definitely brought it to the market on the weekend. Don't know if it's sold, so it probably is in my, in my market box currently. So I sold this one, another lavender, and I saw one that's back over there. I actually bought a whole roll of this. It wasn't clearance or anything, but yeah, I bought a whole roll because I just really liked this print. I've had it for ages. There's this one called Theo, and it's been super popular. I don't even have it. Like, that's how popular it is. I don't even have it in stock at all. But yeah. I have to make a Theo one. I wonder if I've got it in tubes. Well, that's the print. I just need it in the petite size. I've also had this one for ages. It's quite a thick material. So I had to 
like cut quite a bit off because the first time I made this scrunchie I just used the whole WOF width of fabric but yeah I made it to like too chunky I, I mean it is still chunky but it's a lot better with a lot less on pretty much everyone that's ordered are all return customers and probably watch my YouTube channel so thank you very much for still supporting me each month and we've got Harriet some of the prints that I did bring this month so for the May release they are ones that have been up before. So Harriet, green double cloth and pink double cloth have all been up before. I also think the olive corduroy has two, but that was a very short time I had that one up. There's only probably like one, two, four brand new that have never been like released at all. I've never made before. They're mostly all new stuff, so thank you. <laughs> yeah, this makes me feel so much better. I don't know why I thought there wasn't much new stuff ordered. Okay, this is all the stuff I have actually in stock that was ordered. And these are the ones I have to make. There's actually not that many, so that's good. I just I'm just gonna go have a look out in the garage and see if I have anything from the market stock. Because I know I put some of the stuff in here. I know I had some. So hopefully that will make my list even smaller.
Okay, we're back. Um, we we are not back. I am back. Mm. Brody is here though. And when I say here, I am actually with her. Talking about <laughs> English today. Um, yeah, I came to Phillip Island last night for personal family things. But we're going to make cake because I just hit 100k on Insta. And it's also my pop's birthday tomorrow. So we're going to do like a double thing. And <laughs> trial cake. Trial cake. And a, yeah, another one. So I went and got some things this morning. So I have love hate, like love hate, <laughs> love heart shaped cookie, <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. um, cake things, cake. Oh yeah, <laughs> give me some words. I don't know what they call. Um, cake tins. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Um, I got three of them because I thought I could stack them up. I wanted small circle ones. I have small circle ones at home in a storage box somewhere. So I was like, that's too hard. I'll just buy these. And yeah, oh well, they're love hearts. So they're for mine. And then we're also going to get like just a normal cake for Puff. We've bought, what did we buy? <laughs> you can hold that. So that's what you want to eat. We bought some cake mix. I don't know, this was just on special. It was like half price. And we bought this. Some buttercream. Mmm. No idea. I just was like, oh, I don't think the icing in here will cut it for what I want to do. I'm going to add some photos of what I want to do. So here are some photos. And yeah, we'll see how it turns out. It's going to turn out really bad, but I'm not a baker. I'm not very good. These. Oh yeah, we got some of these too, like little flowers. So in case it turns out really bad, <laughs> we can just do that. So yeah, I'm going to make, I was going to buy this cake, but I left it too late. And yeah, oh, well, I was just like, I'll just make it and see how I go. And it'd be fun. It was a fun little activity. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah, first we're going to start with putting, I guess, the cake mixture in a bowl. This is the bowl. I don't know how many we're going to need for the little ones. Do you reckon two or one? Do you do one for each tin? I don't, I think this is going to be way too much for one tin. Oh uh, yeah. This is, hmm, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe we should do Poppy's cake. But maybe we just do them we all. Have three. We have three cakes. Hmm. Maybe we just do the whole block. We'll just do all the batter. Yeah, now we can just pour them into each one. Yeah. Okay. We'll just do all the batter, which means we have to put triple, triple the mixture. Hopefully that works. I'm no expert. I'm gonna open this with scissors. Okay, I'm gonna cut this. Hey, you wanna be my sous chef? You can hold this oh, yeah. for the camera. It's gonna be great. Well, I've already splashed myself with water twice this morning, so I mean, anything other than that would be good. Yeah, this is the stuff I have, and also over here, I brought these. Don't know. They look like they might be fun. And we have an actual mixer. -er. So, I don't know. Let's, let's give it a go. That's what I did. I hit that thing and it went everywhere. <laughs> First step hand wash. That just like spits everywhere. It's just such a like chaotic tap. I preheated the oven. Ready to go. <laughs> oh God. Right, we're gonna put how many eggs? Six. Six eggs. Off you go. <laughs> don't get any yolk in there. I mean, <laughs> don't get any shell. <laughs> Ew. Oh, I think I... What oh. the heck are you doing? <laughs> it's throughout the whole thing. What is it? The, is that the yolk? I mean, the egg? I, I mean, think it's just shell. egg. I think it's just shell. I mean, no, it's not shell. <laughs> it's fine. I think it's just egg. Oh, that time I saw it go somewhere. <laughs> it went over there. It's like out of the bowl. Yeah, sure it is. Everyone, let me know if you saw it go in the bowl. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> I'm doing great. Done it. Oh, it's the first time I've ever done that before. <laughs> this must be the fifth. Oh, I've hang done on, this one, is two, three, four, five. <laughs> that's smart. <laughs> mm, that's a bit shallow in there. It's all right. We'll blend up. <laughs> Hello. What are you doing? Hi. She's like, what is that? Hmm. 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 Oh, I don't need any eggs in. Um, there's butter in there. I mean, no, but there's flour in there. Yeah, but it will get done over there, so it'll be fine. I just, we're probably just need to mix it up a bit. 
Okay. We're getting somewhere. Look at that go. Wait, I've got my phone upside down. Oh, no, I don't. Never mind. <laughs> the recording is just happening upside down right now. And I've also got butter in the microwave. All right, we're going to tip the butter in. Spore, I mean, spin, spin. <laughs> oh, that was not. How'd you go in the microwave in the butter? One job. One job. I have one job. <laughs> I think this looks really sloppy. I don't know how this is going to turn out. I swear to God, if we just wasted like three... Three cake mix. Oh, well, it still looks good. I'll eat it. Do you guys like eating raw cake butter? I mean, cake butter, cake <laughs> mixture, because I do. Even though it says you're not meant to, I still like it. All right, off you go. I don't even know how to use that. Ooh, fancy. It's creaky, All right, is this even on? Yes. No. Oh, I should probably have to Alright. Ooh, fancy. What does it say to mix? I don't know. Oh, it says hand mix, but we've been lazy. <laughs> it actually looks pretty good. That was not even mixed. <laughs> um, oh, I really want some. I really want some. Is this like a pouring section? Let's go everywhere. How much do you even pour in? Should be the rest. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Perfect. Perfect amount. Exactly what's needed. And look at this. This bowl is mine. <laughs> oh, this looks trippy. Oh, might share, maybe. Oh no, that one's already spilling out. What'd you do to it? I don't know, maybe not put it on properly. Oh my god. Okay, so I just put a tiny bit of icing in here just to see what color it's gonna turn out like. I put in a little bit of blue and a little bit of red, and it's made like this really nice violet color, which is the color I was wanting. I don't know, I don't even know what color I should do. I'm thinking violet though. It's not even violet, it's lavender. Oh, it looks like darker. I don't know. It's everywhere. So this is how it turned out. <laughs> it like sunk through. I don't know. So if you're going to use those and like cheap ones, I'm guessing, I don't know, make sure they're tightly in or maybe put, the, put it on something. Because yeah, they could leak through like this. Baking's hard. Oh, there we go. I need to get these in the fridge to cool down. They're my little love hot cakes. I just have to cut the top off and stuff. <laughs> So shaky. I think it's like too wet or something, I don't know. <laughs> it's so lopsided. I did it. I like it. <laughs> it's very lopsided, but it will do. And I kind of messed up the top, like I didn't center it, but it's still really cute. And yeah, I also made my pop one, which I won't show you because that's even worse. <laughs> um, that's okay. So yeah, I've done my little cake. And now I just need to take a photo with my little cake. But yeah, I thought it turned out really cute. What do you guys think? It was my first attempt, so be nice. <laughs> Obviously it's not smooth. And it's very lopsided. It looks like it's fallen over a little bit, but that's okay. I keep putting it back in the fridge to like solid, make it solid. Uh, yeah, I'm still happy with the results. Hi, everyone. I'm back. Um, I was filming on my iPhone before when I was in Phil Island just today, this morning. But I'm back in Tarragon now, which is about it's almost a two hour drive. Just had like some 
family stuff but look what arrived finally oh my goodness i got these ones made so these ones have the rounded corners i really like rounded corners so i was like yes but for some reason they just took so long to get made up and these ones are just like the standard ones these were my backup but they ended up being shipped together anyway so oh well i've just got more stuff now but i did something i made a mistake that i've never made in nine and a half years i accidentally put the wrong label on the wrong order i've never done that in nine and a half years i got an email this morning from someone with the same name as the other person i've mixed them up i've like put the wrong one yeah i felt so bad about it i was like oh my god so i've like quickly messaged the other person because they've obviously i've obviously put yeah the label on this one and so that one yeah i've switched them because they have the same name oh my goodness but yeah i had to message the other one that I hadn't received it yet and luckily they were someone that watches my youtube and really really nice about it so i'm just gonna reship their order it sucks because they were into both international and one of them was united kingdom which costs so much money to ship there and I probably paid extra money for this parcel anyway because it was a big parcel. Mistakes happen. Still not quite finished sewing. I had to yeah run off yesterday to Phillip Island. Oh my god I'm looking at the photos and it looks grey. I don't know it's like the lighting just makes it look like a grey cake. <laughs> That makes me so sad. I wonder what it's going to turn out like on the camera. Okay, I'm just going to quickly sew them all up. I use a bobkin uh, to thread my elastic. Highly recommend if you thread things, whether that be, I don't know, <laughs> like threading pant drawstrings or spaghetti straps, anything like that, scrunchies even. This one is a Clover brand, Clover brand bobkin, which I like it best because it has like this little snap thing which you can, yeah, snap to stuff. I have got other brands in the past, but this one is definitely my favorite. And I also just glue the elastic just to hold it in place while I, yeah, get the rest done. Because I have such a thick band in my scrunchies, they tend to sort of unravel, I guess. If I was to just leave it like this, it will just go back into itself. So I need that glue just to hold it there. Plus, when I'm sewing on the sewing machine, it's actually a lot easier for me to do it when it's glued. If it's not glued and I'm trying to just hold it in place, it is a lot more tricky and it does take me more time just to line it up and be very careful with it. But when it's glued, it's just very straightforward, simple for me. After I finish at least scrunchies, I think there's really only just the DIY packs left. I do need to order more supplies actually for the DIY packs. Um, I'm already, I must have already sold 50 of them at least because I'm out of so much stuff.
Hey guys, I didn't finish off the vlog, so I thought I'd just quickly jump on and say, yeah, big thank you for everyone that purchased from the May sale, not the sale, but May launch drop. If you saw your order impact, let me know. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a lovely day. Bye.